Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Crate and Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make all these different bees. And I got my fireplace finished and it looks really good. So we're going to need a bunch of different supplies. You could improvise and just use things on hand. I'm basically going to show you all the different techniques that I come up with. So that was just a trash can that I had from the Dollar Tree. And I just cut out some different shapes of wings here. And you want to make them match. So just fold it over and then cut them out together. That way they'll line up exactly. And then I just kind of cut them in half so they're two separate pieces. So there's one style of wings you can make. I also have a white basket and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to cut it out of this white trash can uh, waste basket here that I got at the, at the Dollar Tree. I just took my wire cutters and just cut it the same way. And then I'm just going to cut out the shape of wings that you like. So I'm going to cut out a pair of white pair. So what I'm doing here, I'm just showing you different ways you can make some different wings. This is just pipe cleaner. And I just stuck two pieces together, trimmed them so they're the exact same size. I just shaped them kind of like a little heart. So I made some like a heart shaped and some plain. And then now I'm going to do the same thing to these yellow ones. It's just yellow pipe cleaner again and just fold them. And I'm going to do some black ones with the pipe cleaners. You could just mess around them, do whatever shape you like. And now here, I had these fans left over from the Dollar Tree, and I thought, how cute would this be to cut some wings out of these fans? So that's what I did. I'm going to go ahead and cut two of these out. And just kind of lay it on top and just cut around it and make them match. That'd be really cute for a 4th of July bumblebee. So now I'm going to take some wire that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut off some pieces of it here. And I'm going to fold that into a shape of a wing again. So what I'm doing here is just I'm kind of making the out, outer edges. You can make these any size that you want to match your bumblebees. I made a bunch of wings first. And then I'm going to sit and make a bunch of bodies for these wings. I just want to show you different techniques you can do with um, different items that you have laying around. So that's just some cheap wire from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to make different sizes and different kinds. So I'm just going to set them aside and now here I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to start gluing on the backgrounds. So whatever you have laying around, this is just some meshy ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and glue right onto the edges of it. And then I'm just going to stick it down right on top of that ribbon. I ended up grabbing some um, silicone mat to push it down on top of so that way it won't stick to your table surface. So go ahead and just stick them down, let them dry, and then you're just going to trim around them with some scissors. If you don't like where the glue looks, you could take some black paint or a marker, a permanent marker, and touch up where your glue is. I don't mind. I just leave it like that. I think they turned out super cute for that one. Now here I have a mesh bag that I had left over. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut out a piece of it, put the glue around the um, wire, and then I'm just going to stick it right down on top of that. I'm going to do it again on the other one. So just put some hot glue right around the edges of it and then just stick it down, let it cool, and then peel them right off. Again, if you don't like the glue showing, you could touch them up with some black paint or with a permanent marker. So I made a little bit bigger ones. Okay, so now I have some white mesh bag and I'm gonna use some of this white mesh here and I'm gonna stick that onto these white um, wings we made out of the pipe cleaners. So again, you're just gonna stick it on there Go ahead and do the other one. Let them cool for a minute or two. Peel them off. And then you're just going to trim them up with some scissors. So there's your white pair. Super cute. Okay, now I have these. And I think I'm going to do these. I'm going to do some paper. 
So I want the paper to show up on both sides. So I'm just gonna double up my paper and cut out some squares here. And I just folded the paper over. And then I'm gonna take my spray adhesive and I'm gonna just adhesive these together. You could use some Mod Podge, but I really like the spray adhesive because it's, it's like instant. It works like fast. So go ahead and just spray a little bit on each side there, fold them over, swish them together, and there you have it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna run a bead of hot glue. You kind of have to work fast. You don't want the hot glue to dry. I'm just gonna stick it down on the paper and I'm gonna stick it under the mat and I'm just gonna push it down and let it cool. Go ahead and do the other one. Stick it down, put it under my mat, let them cool and just pick them right off. And then you're just gonna trim them up with your scissors again. I think these black and white ones are so cute. So again, I'm using paper and you could use anything here, anything you have laying around. You could use material. Okay, so now I'm gonna have these set right here and I'm gonna use this fabric. And it's just a yellow polka dotted fabric I have. I got it at the Dollar Tree. And again, I'm gonna fold it over so you have four pieces. And then I'm just gonna trim it up so I have four pieces of this fabric. And you don't wanna use your spray adhesive because you don't want it to bleed through. So I'm gonna use these um, big black ones, the big pipe cleaner ones, and just gonna lay them back to back so you have two pieces. And then you're just going to hot glue onto one side. Don't use the spray glue, it will, it'll bleed through the fabric. And then I'm just gonna smush that down, let that cool, pick it off. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that to the other side. So I'm just gonna go around right where the black was and then just stick it right down on top. And then you're just gonna trim it up with your scissors and be sure to make two wings here. You wanna fold your little wings to make sure they match because once you glue it, you really can't um, make them a different shape. You could fold them, you know, like a um, O to uh, bend it a little bit if you wanted a little curve in it, but you're not gonna be able to move the shape at all. So make sure you have them to the same size so they look the same. And I think they turned out super cute. I love those. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to these little um, wire ones. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put on here, but I think I'm going to use this polka dotted white paper again. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did on the other paper. You're going to make four pieces. I thought about using that mesh and I'm like, no, I'm going to do the white paper. So you need these and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to spray them with a little bit of adhesive and that's just the Elmer's glue spray adhesive. Fold them over, let them dry for a second or two, and then you're just going to Use your hot glue again, go around the ring edge and just push it right down on the paper. Fold it over onto that um, silicone mat. It's like a thinner silicone mat. You can get one that you use um, in your oven, like those oven liners. Those work really good. And then you're just gonna trim these out. I'm loving these wings, they're so cute. I ended up not doing everything, but I just wanted to show you an idea of different kinds of wings that you could make. You could just use just plain wire too with nothing inside. Now here I have some fabric and I decided I'm gonna do one more here, a fabric one. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the jute twine and I'm just gonna hot glue it right around the outer edge of it. So just put a little hot glue and as you go along, just fold that into the shape that you want. And just keep going all the way around to get that all the way done and then trim the extra off. 
And then on the back side, we're just going to stick another piece of material. If you wanted to, you could put the jute cord on the back side. I actually didn't worry about putting that on my um, any of my wings. I didn't really worry about the back sides. So then I'm just going to do the other one and you can just trim up the fabric as you go along. You actually could um, just put the jute cord on a piece of fabric first and then trim it out your, the shape that you want. I went ahead and cut the material first and I'm just going to put these two together. I think they're super cute. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to make little wings out of it. I'm just going to run a piece of um, of the glue gun right along the edge and then just scrunch it up. So I'm just going to like pucker it up and then you could trim them rounded um, into the shape of a wing. So I'm going to do that with the mesh bag too. I'm just going to run a little bead of glue and then just fold it up and pinch it together and you could trim the edge to make it look rounded if you want. Here's a mesh bag. I'm going to do the same thing again. A little bit of caulk on the edge, fold it up and just hold it into place till it dries. Now here's another piece. Um, this is the Dollar Tree ribbon and you just want to crimp it up like that. And then you can just trim it up into a wing shape. Now here I'm going to take some felt and this is just some black felt that I got at the Dollar Tree and I just cut it into the shape of some wings. Okay so now here is some spoons. I got these at the Dollar Tree and I got a package of the clear ones and a package of the black ones. And what I'm going to do is I have a candle here that I lit and I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to heat it up over top of the candle. You might just kind of mess with a little bit till you figure out how you like it. And I should have took my oven mitt and put a piece of aluminum foil on top of that so it doesn't turn it black because it doesn't completely wash off. Um, I could probably try to use a different kind of cleaner to get it off. But anyways, cover that with a piece of aluminum foil. So you just want to burn these into the shape that you like and just mash them down with the silicone rubber spatula that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I think they're super cute. And these are super fun, you guys. So I try to just make two that kind of look the same wings. So I have sets. And I just did a bunch of them so I can pick out two that look the most alike. And then now I'm gonna do the same thing to these black spoons. And you're just gonna melt it and then just push it down with your spatula. Be sure to do the little end there um, where the spoon meets the handle and just wanna mash that a little bit flat there. So it just depends on how much um, wiggle part of it you want, how much curve you want in yours. I kind of left the black ones kind of um, just flattened, but it's super cute and how fun is this? Again, I went ahead and just did six of these. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this fork and I'm gonna heat this fork up and they start to curl up and I'm just gonna bend them and push them here on this oven mitt to where I get them to kind of curve around. And I'm gonna cut these off and use them for the antennas on my bees. So go ahead and do some of these. You wanna do more than you think you need because you want to make them kind of match each other when you put them on your bees. So I went ahead and just did a few more of these. Super cute. Now it's still really hot, so make sure you don't touch these until they're completely cool. Now I'm going to take all these and I'm going to wash these with soap and water real good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pan I got at the Dollar Tree. And it's just an aluminum cookie sheet here, the real thin kind. I think they come in a two-pack. And I'm just going to cut out some B-shaped wings on these. Now you could paint these if you wanted. You could add some string to them to give them a little more outline inside the wings, like some little black um, cording. But I just kind of left them plain. And you just want to fold them over and then just cut out the wings at the same time. That way they look the same. And I think they're super cute. Okay, so now here we're going to start doing our bees. I have these little pellets that are for beanbag, a beanbag chair. 
and I just stuck one inside there so it holds on to the little bean bag thing while I'm painting it with a little marker and it's just a little permanent marker and I'm just painting it here with my marker. You could use regular paint but I just wanted to use my markers. So after you do the marker you want to go ahead and do two of those. I just end up doing one right now so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a little lines around them with the black marker and it's just my sharpie here in black and I'm just drawing the little lines on it and I think it's super cute. These are good for um, little tiny things that you want little bees in. And then you can add the face, you can add a mouth if you want to and then I'm going to make little wings out of these um, for these out of that same wire you get at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut a little one and I'm not going to put any fabric in them. It doesn't really need it. I'm just going to trim them up here and then I'm just going to stick them right inside the bee. I want to make sure it's not too long because you don't want it to poke through the other side. So you just want to stick them in. I think it turned out super cute. And here's a little hat I made. I did do a, um, a little tutorial on how to make this little hat. I make these marshmallow guys. You should go check that out. Okay, so now we're on to the beads and I'm just going to thread them up through this pipe cleaner and then I'm just going to bend over the one end and then I'm going to push it back up through the top. So I'm going to put it through both beads back through the top here. I left the one end a little long and twisted the bottom and that's like kind of like his little stinger there and then the top I just trimmed it up and it's kind of like his little antennas and I think it's super cute and then I'm just going to take a piece of that um, gold kind of meshy stuff I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap it around and just tie it in a couple knots and that's going to be its wings. You could do whatever you want here. You could glue on the other wings that we already made but I just wanted to just add some of this. Now I went ahead and doubled up that um, meshy stuff you could have done um, tied them two pieces on at the same time but I think it makes cute wings for my little bee here and just trim them up however long you want them and then I'm just going to draw on little eyes right onto my bee okay so now we're going to do the other one we're going to do the exact same way so you want to slide and I'm going to use a white pipe cleaner you want to slide it up bend it over and then push it back through both beads up through the top. Be careful not to pull it all the way through and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there just to hold that in place. Some of my beads have bigger holes than the other ones and then I'm just going to trim these up for the antennas. I'm just going to twist it around a couple times and now this one I can't decide what wings. I think I'm going to grab that uh, felt fabric here and I cut it into a little wing shape and then I'm just going to glue these on. So I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue and put a little glue on my beads and then just push down that felt. I think it turned out super cute you guys. This one's so fun. Now I think I'm going to add some eyeballs to my little bees. Now I touched the glue up with uh, my black marker so you couldn't see the um, glue on the back side. I have all these different eyeballs and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and stick the eyes on. And I think it's super cute. I love those. Okay so I decided I'm going to put little eyeballs on the other one too. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. And that eyeball was kind of stuck. The little black thing wasn't moving. So I went ahead and grabbed another one and re glued it back on. Different one. Go ahead and do the other side. It only takes a little bit of glue. I think he turned out super cute. So there's my little bees. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make this bumblebee. And I made a bunch of these in a different video when I made my green truck. I made a bunch of them. They're hanging out in the back of my little pickup truck. But all you do is take this flower that I got at the Dollar Tree and I have this kind of like um, puffy yarn 
and you're just going to glue it around the ball here, this little flower end piece. And then just going to trim it up as you go. And I'm going to do two um, rows of the black on this one. But you could do whatever shape, whatever kind you want. You could do three rows. You could fill in the face and have it all black. But I just did two rings around this one. And I think he's super cute. So what we're going to do next is we're going to um, add a little stinger in the back. And I just trim it up. So let's put a little piece of that same yarn in the back. And then I'm just going to hot glue some eyeballs on here. These are a little bit different shape. They have bigger, eye or bigger pupils. Okay, so now I'm going to take these little wings and I'm just going to stick these right into the top. Oh, actually, I think I could have used those. But I ended up using these metal ones and I think they're super cute. So I just stuck them on and just kind of bent them up. So just want a little bit of glue and then just stick them on. I think he turned out super cute. Then I just stuck him in my little plant. Okay, so now I have this foam ball and I have two different sizes. I'm just gonna trim it down a little bit here. And I wanna make it flat so it sets up. And I'm gonna take the other little piece and that one's gonna go on top. And I'm gonna trim off the top. So I trimmed off the bottom and the top on the big one and then just the bottom of the ball on the little one. And I just glued it right on top of the big one. And now I'm going to take that yarn again, that fat kind of yarn, and I'm just going to wrap it and glue it all the way around the body of my bee. But first I'm going to take a piece of this felt that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom. So I'm just going to stick it on there, let it cool for a second, and then I'm just going to trim it around with my pair of scissors. Just kind of gives it a little more finished look. And now I'm going to start hot gluing this yarn all the way around. So I just kind of used a little hot glue. It kind of sticks to it, so I don't need to glue the whole entire thing. And I just want to go around. So the bottom one, I did the whole thing. And then I just kind of went as I was going and did a little glue as I went along. So just keep going to get it all covered. And I think it's super cute. It's like a little stuffed animal bee. So you just go all the way around, all the way up on the head. And then just trim out, trim it off. Okay, so now I'm going to decide what wings I want. I think I'm going to use these yellow ones. I'm just going to poke a hole in there with my scissors, add a little glue, and then just stick it in there. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So just poke it in with my scissors, trim it up a little bit, and then just stick it inside. Now I'm going to add my eyes. Now you could add any shape or any kind of eyes. You could use buttons. You could use all kinds of things. I have a little piece of pink felt here, and I'm going to make little cheeks. So I'm just going to cut them down, and then I'm just going to hot glue them right onto the, his little cheeks here. So I got a position right where I want it. And then I have a little piece of white yarn I'm going to use for the mouth. So I'm going to glue the eyeballs on first. Then I'm going to glue the cheeks on. And then I'm going to trim my mouth down. I just want a little itty bitty mouth. And then I'm just going to put a little glue on one side of it. And just stick it on and then I'm just going to glue a little bit more and just kind of put it up where it needs to go yeah and I think he's cute okay so now I he needs some stripes around him and I have these yellow pipe cleaners I got I think I got those at Hobby Lobby but um I'm just going to figure out exactly how I want to do this. And I think I'm just going to put two stripes along the bottom portion of him. And you're just going to put a little hot glue, wait till it dries, wrap it around, 
trim it, and then add a little hot glue on the back side and hold it there till it dries. So I'm going to add one more ring around him. So you're just going to do the same thing, add a little hot glue, fold it around him, and glue it into place. Trim it and glue it into place. And I think it's super cute. He looks like my light up bee I already made. I did do um, a video on that one. You'll have to check that out. I made a bigger one with the vase from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so now we're going to take the forks and I'm just going to trim them with my little wire cutters here. And I'm going to figure out a couple that look the same and poke them into the top and hot glue them for his little antennas. I think it turns out super cute. I'm just going to trim him up a little bit. There he is. I'm going to add a little stinger for him. Just took a piece of pipe cleaner, folded it, doubled it up, and then just poked it into the back with some glue. And I think he turned out super cute. Okay, so now we're on to these eggs. And I want to use paper. And I just took some wrapping paper that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I shredded up in um, long strips. And I'm just going to take some Mod Podge here, and I'm just going to start putting it onto the egg. And it's just kind of random. Um, once the paper gets soaked up with the Mod Podge, it'll lay down a little flatter for you. So just keep working at it, putting more Mod Podge on to get it just how you want it. And then you're just going to set it aside to dry. And I let mine dry overnight. So just, I went ahead and just did two of these because I think they're super cute. And you're just going to keep adding your Mod Podge and your scraps of paper to get it nice and smooth all around. Okay, so now I'm going to take another egg. I cut it in half. And then I'm going to paint these. And I'm going to paint these three different shades of yellow. So I'm going to paint a couple yellow here. And I dry them in between with my hair dryer just to speed up the process. And then I'm going to add a little bit of darker color yellow. And I'm going to do two of those eggs of that color. So I did a half a one and a whole one. And then the darker one, I'm just going to do one of the eggs in the darker color here of yellow. Okay, so I had this happy sign I got from the Dollar Tree and I want to make it say, be happy. So what I did is I sprayed it with some of my spray adhesive and then I'm going to cut it out, stick the paper on and then trim it out um, about as close as you can get to it. And then you're going to poke holes through the front side where each letter has a space. And then I'm going to take my lighter here and I'm just going to burn the edges. And it's a lot faster than trying to trim this up. And I think it turns out super cute. Now, when you're doing this, be careful because where you charred the edges with your lighter, it is black, it turns to black and it'll get on your paper. So you want to have a rag handy that you just kind of want to just tap off the extra, um, like extra burnt pieces, edges. And like I said, be careful you don't smear it. You kind of just want to be careful with that. And then you just want to burn out the front edges of the letters too. So you're just going to kind of hold it on the front side and let the lighter um, just get it right on the front there. See how I did that? This is super fun too. So once I get that all finished, I have this little Dremel tool that I got at Harbor Freight. It was the cheapest one I could find and actually works really awesome. So I'm going to um, cut a hole in it. Or um, actually first here, I'm going to paint stripes around my, my one of my eggs. And I'm going to do it in a blue because I just think it's cute to pick up the blue in the happy paper there. So I went ahead and just made it a little bit darker and add a little black to my blue. And I'm just going to do a couple bands around my B here. And I'm just going to dry it in between with my hair dryer to speed up the process. And 
and I'm just going to set that side to dry. Now here I'm taking my Dremel tool that I was telling you about. Now when you poke a hole in here, you want to do it at an angle. And because um, your wire, you want your wire to go in at a slight angle to it. So it doesn't look so bent. But I'm going to stick it in my B first here. And I'm just going to put a little hole in there with my um, little Dremel tool and some hot glue. And I'm just going to stick it right down inside there, my wire. And this is a thicker wire. This isn't the same black wire that I got at um, the Dollar Tree. It's a little thicker, but still pretty bendable. And then I'm going to add some wings to the top here of my B. And I just hot glued them on. And now I'm going to draw little eyeballs on my B. And I think this turned out super amazing. So I just want to show you different ways you could use your bees. Okay, so now on this one, I'm going to do the bands on these black. So I'm going to go through all of my um, eggs here and I'm going to paint the bands on these. So just go through and you could do however many you want, shapes you want. You could fill the face in part. I like to use the fat part as the face and the uh, little part as the um, his tail end or his bottom. So you just want to draw all these on and I changed my paint, paintbrush out to a smaller paintbrush. Now these are Easter eggs I had left over from I think don't know if I got these at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General, but I just went ahead and painted the stripes on those while I had my paint out. Now, once those are all dry, we're going to start assembling the wings. Now, these are, this is the half egg one that I cut in half, and I'm just going to hot glue these wings right onto the back of this little guy here. I just love the black and white checkered paper. So then I cut a little piece of wire, and I'm going to poke those into the top. So I want to make little antennas. I'm just going to put them in with a little hot glue. And I'm just going to bend the wings around a little bit. Now this one, I'm going to take the little wings and these are the little ones I use the ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's like the meshy ribbon stuff. I think it turned out super cute. So I'm just going through and adding all the different kinds of wings that we made earlier. And I'm just sticking these on. I just love these. You can trim them up as you go. And I'm just going to add little antennas again and just poke them down in there with a little hot glue. And I'm going to draw a little face on this with a little permanent marker here. Okay, so now we're back to this one. And I'm just going to poke these in just like this. And I just love the combination of the polka dots on that one. Now here I'm going to use some of my little fork pieces. And I'm just going to poke them in with some hot glue. So add a little hot glue and then just push them down into there. And I'm just going to draw a little face on with my markers. You could use the little eyeballs if you want. I think they're super fun. Now this one I'm going to do my little fabric wings. I'm just going to glue these on. Again, I'm going to put some little antennas on here. I just kind of bend them, fold them around a little bit. And then this one, I'm just going to draw the eyes on here and a little mouth. Okay, so now we're back to the flat one again. And this is the egg I cut in half. I'm just going to glue these little wings on here and I end up taking a little piece of white felt and just gluing that onto the back of this one. That will help keep the wings on. So I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with this one. Now this one I'm going to add the little um, forks again for the antennas and then I'm going to put some little eyeballs on this guy and then I'm just going to draw his little mouth on. I think it's super cute. Okay, so now we're down to the spoons. I just took my wire cutters and snapped off the ends of the spoons. And then I'm just going to poke a hole in there and then insert your wings with some hot glue. And if you need to touch it up because you can see the styrofoam, just take your black permanent marker and touch it up. Now here I'm going to use 
these little pieces of wire for the antennas on this one. And then I'm going to put eyeballs on him. And I'm going to do little eyes. And I think it's super cute. Okay, so now we're on to this one. Again, poke a hole, put some glue, and then poke your um, wings back through. And you can use uh, your markers to touch up where those go in. Now here I'm going to use the black fork pieces for his antennas. And I think I'm going to use some big giant eyes on this one. I just think it's so fun. So I'm just going to plop these on here. And you could add little stingers to your bees too if you want. With the pipe cleaner or a piece of the fork actually too. You could do that too. I think he turned out super cute. That one eyeball was being a little pesky. So here I took my little marker and just touched up where you could see it. And then drew his little mouth on. I think he turned out super cute. Okay, this is one. There's one of them. There's another one. There's little B. Another one. I think they're so fun, you guys. Okay, so now this one, I wanted to do the bees that were flat. And I had these extra pieces of board. They're actually pieces of fencing that you can get from Home Depot. And these were pieces that I had chopped off when I put a fence up. And it was the extra top pieces because they were too long. So what I did is I drilled four holes in one piece. And then I drilled two holes in the other piece. And I'm going to hook these together with some of the jute cording that I got or jute rope that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut out two pieces of these and I'm going to feed that through there. And then I'm going to tie knots in these. So get it how you want it. Tie a little knot on each end. Try to keep it at the same distance here. And then I'm just going to trim off the um, top part. But first I'm going to make a little holder. So I'm just going to have one piece and then do it through the top and then tie a knot so it makes a little hanger. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim off the extra portions of the um, jute cording. Then I'm going to take these two little bees and I'm just going to hot glue them right to my little pieces of wood. And I'm going to hang that on my wall above my fireplace. So I'm going to make some little ends. I'm just going to take that wire and stick it, hot glue it, and stick it right up into the bottom of these. Okay. I think they turned out super cute. Well, there's my fireplace. If you guys like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.